we are going to discuss python iterators iterators are very common in our python programming language and they are elegantly implemented within our for loops generators comprehensions etc but hidden in our plain sight an iterator in python is nothing but an object and this object will return data one at a time during our iteration obviously if some data is available then only it will return the data otherwise it will throw some exception so technically speaking python iterator object must implement two special methods one is the next method so can also be called as underscore underscore next underscore underscore method and another one is the iter method that is actually underscore underscore iter underscore underscore method and collectively they will be known as the iterator protocol an object is called iterable if we can get an iterator from it most of the built-in container in our python like our string like our tuple list we're having they are nothing but iterables the iter method or the iter function which in in turn call the iter underscore underscore iter underscore underscore method returns an iterator from them so let us go through this example and to discuss the property of this iterator so here you see here we have defined one list here and this iter method from using this iter method from this iter from this list we are getting one iterator and to access the data from this iterator we are using the method next here so either you can use this next our iter so this is the syntax to retrieve elements from this uh, iterator there is a our iter otherwise we can write our iter dot underscore underscore next underscore underscore method so anyone we can use that one so here you see the list is containing data that is 44 77 11 and 33 so for the first next i'm retrieving 44 next i'm re retrieving here is 77 next element which will be retrieved here is 11 next element which will be retrieved here is 33 so now we have uh, we have got all the four elements now now if we go for next our editor it will raise one exception so let let us go for the execution of this block so here we are having 44 77 11 and 33 because the elements were 44 77 11 and 33 so when we executed print next our editor then 44 was retrieved and next uh, print next our iter when you execute this method then 77 has been retrieved from this iterator that is our iter next time 11 next time 33 now if i execute this one i should not put this one in comment if i execute this one then one exception will be there and there is a stop iteration and this will raise error no items left as we mentioned in the comment and so next our iter will produce this uh, error that is a stop iteration so let us go for another one so create a custom iterator so here we are defining one class that is the power of two and here we are having this document documentation string in short we can call it as doc string so it should be enclosed either within a triple single quotes or triple double quotes so it is also known as a block comment and it should be the first intended intended statement in our class so next we are having this constructor that is our underscore underscore init underscore underscore so here we are defining this max and this is, a, is equal to zero is the default argument so whatever the value will be passing that will be assigned to this max instance variable so here we are just defining this underscore underscore iter underscore underscore method and similarly this underscore underscore next underscore underscore method so these two methods we are defining here so self dot n is equal to zero so n is another instance variable is getting initialized with the value zero and then we are having this next so if self dot n is less than equal to self dot max then result is equal to two star star that is two to the power of self dot n so to the power of n will be assigned to the result and self dot n will be increased by one and the result will be returned otherwise in the else in the else part we are going for stop iteration we are erasing this error there is a stop iteration so now here at first we are going to print uh, this doc string that is a documentation string enclosed within triple single quotes can also be enclosed within uh, triple double quotes so whenever we are printing this uh, this one there is a power of two that is a class name dot 
at underscore underscore doc underscore underscore you can see that it is printing let us go for this it is printing this respective string that is a class to implement an iterator of powers of two so the string whatever is discussed or defined here so it has got printed so now we are going for this uh, a is equal to power of two four so now this four will be assigned to max this four will be assigned to max so max has got the value four here so now we are going for this uh, i is equal to iter a so we are going for this next i next i next i it is going on going on printing that is 2 to the power of 0 because n is having the initial value 0 here so 2 to the power of 0 the result will become 1 and return result so that result will be printed as 1 so next time this n has got increased by 1 so 2 to the power of 1 the result will have the value 2 and return result that means it will return the value 2 here so 2 is getting printed because we have called this next i from this print method so now next time the value of n will become 2 so 2 to the power of 2 will become 4 so result will have the value 4 and the result will be returned and that will get printed so in this way I'm getting this one as uh, 1 2 4 as output so I think you are getting this idea how this method which is having this init that is a constructor this iter method the next method and the respective object we have defined under the class that is our a so this max has got initialized with the value 4 which has been passed as the parameter to this constructor then out of this a we are creating one iter so there is a iter iter iterator is this one i and from iterator we can pick up the next values so there is a next of i so this method is getting called so we can also call it as i dot underscore underscore next underscore underscore method so let me print it here so i dot underscore underscore next underscore underscore method so in this way also we can print it so now let me let me go for the uh, execution of the same so i'm just erasing this part it is not required okay so now if we execute the same i'm getting the same output because next i is actually executing i dot underscore underscore next underscore underscore method so next one we are going for creating a infinite custom iterator so in this case this is our doc string the name of the class is infinite iter and this here we are having this method iter we have defined the next we have defined so this is the infinite iter object the class object is i from this i we are creating one iterator using the method iter and then we are going for this next a so here you see the num has got the value 1 so num is equal to self dot num so num has got the value 1 here self dot num is plus equal to 2 so in this way it will go on creating because there is no logic is there to stop this one it will go on creating just incrementing this value of num by 2 each and every time and then returning the num that is the previous value of num will be returned so now we are having this next day the next day next day in this way if you go on calling the next method so at first the num was having the value one so this one will be assigned to num which will be returned so that is getting printed so one will get printed then three then five then seven in this way the values will go on printing so it has got no terminating logic so that's why it is infinite iter the name of the class has been given accordingly so from this demonstration you are getting this idea that how this iterator can play its role in our python programming thanks for watching this video